This should be a little bit better to see than normally at the laundromat. Um, this is the second time I've had problems out of this couple. Uh, I'm just gonna have to ask them not to come back because last time, the last time they put um, two pillows, a queen size comforter, uh, sheets, whole nine yards and a top letter literally spilled over the top, like water spilled over the top. And this time, uh, the video is speaking for itself. Watch the door on this. Pops back open. Pops back open. Pops back open. I mean, literally, having to shove it in there. <laughs> and I just showed my wife, and she said, uh, she said uh, they probably decided to use that machine this time because the other one didn't come clean. <laughs> but there's no way these clothes came clean. What is up guys? You may be a little confused about the title of the video and the thumbnail, um, why I'm focusing so much on WD-40. It's got all kinds of uses. Um, I've, I've used it to get glue off. You can get paint off tile. Um, you can use it to unstick Legos, get crayon off the wall. Uh, heck, when I was a kid, we used to spray it on, um, we used to spray it on worms when we were fishing for bass. Because WD-40, um, I believe it stands for Water Displacement Formula 40, if I ain't mistaken. But I think essentially it's fish oil. Uh, let me see here. Hmm, where's it at? Where's it at? I don't think it's on here. No. But it also gets rid of rust. Um, it's gotten a little bit expensive, but honestly, it, it's really, it's really worth the, um, it's really worth the money. Uh, you can't really beat it. I've not got to try some of their other products except for the I think the lithium grease. Um, it works pretty good. Uh, but today, what we're doing with it is um, we've got to clean up these. Uh, the fronts of these machines and I'll show you real quick what they look like now um, you can see that just it looks horrible um, I was using that stainless steel cleaner uh, lemon based or it's not lemon based but it smells like lemon rather yet but I was using it it just leaves a very thick film and I don't like that with this WD-40 um, it doesn't leave a film at all. You can rub against it. It really gets down in the crevices of this brush stain, uh, brush stain, brushed stainless steel. I'll make it out here in a minute. Um, but I already did those machines back there. You can't tell it from here, but they look really decent. Um, I'm gonna hit them again today. I'm gonna do all these machines. Um, we'll do a little test hit and then I'm gonna set you down right here that way I can get you a good nice comparison and you can see already the difference um, I'm gonna put some tape down the center of this and only do one half of it and let you see the difference that this makes and it seems like it lasts maybe a week, a little to a little longer. Um, but for a 10 minute task to do all these machines in a week and keep them looking mint, um, you can't pass that up. So I don't have any masking tape and I don't want to use my uh, duct tape. So we're gonna go and use So, 
That way we can get a nice line going. We'll just spray this down. Be careful on your worn, worn stickers because uh, this will make it go even faster. Use my left hand. We'll get up here too. Go ahead and get that that mark off. We're even going to use it on the glass. That way, that little bit of film will stay on there, and if anything gets on the glass, it will just come right off. So, we'll go ahead and do the top one like it. That way, we have a Which the good thing is, if trouble getting this tape off I got WD-40 already so it's a good thing that I'm tall or else I wouldn't be getting on top of these washers but no film Let's undo this tape and let's take a look at it. And can you see that? There's your difference. Look on top of the machine too. It's hard to see with that light glare, but. You see what kind of difference that can make. So we'll go ahead and knock out these other three too. Dang, so that looks good. I'm really glad I put the tape on there. That way you're able to see the difference. And even, even though, you know, I just used this rag, pretty much, you don't even have to spray a whole lot on there, so. Like I said, the other even the other stuff is more makes a oily film, and by the time a week goes by, it's already off there. And, you know, God forbid a customer bump up against it and then claim that it got on their clothes. You know how it goes.
see when you rub your fingers across it, it don't really smudge that bad. Just take your rag and come right back over it. We'll do a side by side comparison. I'll set you right back up. So, crazy what a difference WD 40 will make. If anybody's, uh, if anybody's watching this from WD 40 or knows anybody, really promoting your product right now. No, for real. I'm promoting it just because it work, works really well. And honestly, I don't know how old the product is, but it's been around my entire life and I'm 31 years old. Um, at least I can remember when I was a kid. got uh this one side and two more to do here
these sides usually last a little longer where they uh where you know there's no hard hard there's not a lot of traffic over here so this this finish will last i'd say every bit of a month get these two knocked out and call it a day But you want to be careful and make sure that you don't want to spray this on your floor by accident because I'm sure it'd make it very slick. Almost like when you uh, accidentally spray furniture polish on hardwood. Oh, it makes it slicker than snot. I believe we're supposed to have another photo shoot at the laundromat this week, which I've got to, uh, I'm sure I'll be down here for it. So I'm gonna ask if they care if I record. You know what the funny thing is, is I've not told anybody yet that I know um, that I make YouTube videos. Really? You know, maybe one or two people. But I mean, other than that, I don't know. I've just not felt the need to tell them, you know? Call it done, and what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is get a uh, just a clean rag. Just go over that that way there's no I'll make sure there's no standing film. Um, yeah, you can see how these are faring out. They're faring out really decent. I really pretty soon want to get new buggies. Um, I really wish, I don't know, I need to check. I'd like to have some black buggies. Well, that's about it for today. Uh, I just figured I'd give you a glimpse of how I take care of my stainless. I know, I think I've showed it before how I used to use that lemon stuff, but honestly, this WD-40 works way better. Um, they shine up really well. I'll take you around and show you, but Oh yeah, that looks, that turned out really well. So, almost look like brand new machines, but that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. It really helps us out. Uh, helps us get it out to more people, especially when you thumbs the video up. But thank you for watching. God bless and have a good day.